Hello everyone, welcome back to WS Cube. In our today's session, we will be talking about operators and operands. Let's first have a small recap on what we have learned in our previous session. In our previous module, we covered variables, data types. We learned how to take an input from the user. We covered type casting and also we did the problem solving based on the topics that we have covered in that module. Also, if you want to become a successful data analyst and you want to learn from our industrial experts, then you may call on the number given below or you can also click on the link given in our description. Not just that, with our every batch, you will be getting two demo classes for free. So let's get started, guys. Now, today onwards, we are starting with our new topic that is operators and operands. First of all, let's understand what is operators and operands. Operators are nothing. Operators are the actions that needs to be performed and operands are the ones on which this action will be performed. Let's understand with the help of a simple example. Here we have x plus y is equals to 0. Now here x, y and 0 are the operands and plus and is equals to is the operator over here. So operands are the ones on which the action needs to be performed. So on x, y and 0 the action needs to be performed and what, what action is performing over here? The plus and is equals to action is being performed over here. That's why plus and is equals to here are operators and x, y and 0 are our operands. So guys, this was about operators and operands. Operators are then further categorized into 7 new categories. What are these 7 categories that we have over here? Are arithmetic operators, we have comparison operators, we have logical operators, we have assignment operators, identity operators, membership operators and bitwise operators. These are the seven types of operators that we will be learning throughout this module. We will be learning each operator in detail in each session. I hope operators and operands are clear to you. In our next session, we will be discussing about the first operator that is the arithmetic operator. So stay connected and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.